if everybody can hear me, you can just all just give me a wave. <laughs> Everything's good? Excellent. All right. Well, I'd like to welcome you to this new way of communicating. Well done for connecting up to Zoom. And don't forget that it's also a way for you to connect with your loved ones. So wouldn't it be fun if you could teach some younger people how to use this wonderful way of getting together? So this lecture series is divided up into five sections, which we'll, I'll be presenting over the course of, of time. And um, each one uh, is, is going to have some extensive notes, which you can download from the AFPAL's website so that you don't need to write anything down right now, unless of course you want to, if you feel more comfortable writing things down. So the website address is uh, on your screen at the moment. And uh, maybe that could just be the one thing that you do write down if you want. But uh, if you don't, then simply type in FPALS to your, in your search engine and it'll come up. Then you navigate to a new page, which Paul has very kindly made for us, and it's called Revisit a Seminar. And you'll find five ways um, in which technology can help you, part one. So in those course notes, uh, we've highlighted the important bits in the notes so that you don't have to trawl through every word to get the names of the apps we've talked about. So you can also re-watch the video that uh, Jim is very kindly recording uh, later in the week. So moving along, um, this is uh, now going to be, a, this is a, a series of, um, oh, there's my, uh, my screen won't move on. I don't know why, but let me just see if I can get it to do something. No, doesn't want to. All right, I might have to just get out of there and start it again because it doesn't seem to want to move anymore. All right, let's try that. All right, so, um, uh, so it's going to be a series about, uh, you know, keeping well and healthy, keeping in touch, and we'll show you a few tools and methods that will help you stay engaged, and how to get the most out of your devices and services. And uh, we've trawled the internet to bring you the most relevant information that we've been able to find uh, on how you can better use the internet and devices and services to help keep your independence and interests. So this is part one about apps and programs that, you can, that can help you stay in shape and in the know. So let's get on with it, prepare to get smart. So there are five topics that we'll cover today. Um, there'll be apps and devices that'll help you monitor and track various areas of your internal health. And uh, a, a sample of different devices and services that will keep uh, track your physical activity by counting your steps and eating and all that. And then uh, we'll go into what the New South Wales Seniors Card can help you, uh, uh, can help you with and it's quite substantial. Then we'll move on to news services that are tailored to your tastes, such as Flipboard and Google News. And finally, we'll move on to um, e-library books and audio books, which Jim was talking about last week, um, to help keep you entertained and informed. So yeah, don't mess with us old people. We're old enough to get our spelling wrong sometimes. <laughs> I didn't notice the spelling mistake until I'd already put this graphic in there. Can you see it? <laughs> All right, so let's move on. There are thousands, maybe even millions of others, but we found five uh, health-focused ideas that uh, we were a bit impressed with. So, um, the first one is the heart rate monitor, um, and that's what the actual app is called. Um, and uh, there are apps that actually will keep you in touch with your heart, and there are even apps that allow your car cardiologist to keep up with your heart as well. So if you have a problem with that, then there, is, then there are certainly solutions and you don't, um, you know, your cardiologist can, <laughs> can tell you uh, which one they use. So if you've never used a, um, a fitness app um, or a, or a um, device, then they're all the rage at the moment, I'm sure you know, on a smartphone or a smartwatch. They monitor stuff like your sleep rhythms and daily steps and calorie intake if you want them to. Um, so then we move on to uh, 
uh, uh, fitness exercise apps and programs. Um, quite a few of them are free, but of course there are paid ones as well. And uh, we'll talk about the, the range of options available a bit later. If you're at all worried about your weight, try a calorie counter. You, can, you may have to be rather diligent about putting everything in that you consume, but look at it this way. Nobody else will see it except you. Here's a fun way to get yourself moving. Turn yourself into a character in a game and do the workout being someone else for a change. There's actually a free app called Fitocracy that helps you to do just that. I tried it, it's a bit of fun. And here's a sneaky number six. If you own an Apple iPhone or iPad, Paul reliably informs me that you already have a fitness app called Health and it counts your steps and has lots of other good stuff on it. It's particularly good uh, as it allows bypassing of security if the phone is locked uh, to call the next of kin, etc. And when you finish learning all that, then you're allowed to bounce on the bed, okay? So here are some programs and devices that you can use to make sure that you keep on top of activities that you need to do in order to stay healthy. An app called Footsteps is said to be one of the best uh, step counting apps, followed by Pacer and then Steps app. They're all, they all count your steps, even if you get up from the couch to make a cup of tea. At the end of the day, they'll tell you how many steps you've taken during the day, and you can see for yourself whether you've reached your target. It's great motivation. So water is vital to our well-being. Forgetting to drink it can be a thing of the past if you download a free app called Waterlogged, and it can help you to keep count of how much water you've drunk. Now, I really haven't tried this. Um, I'm not sure if it does the same with other drinks, especially if they're things that you should limit drinking. I'm also not sure how it tells the difference between water and tea, but if you have any sort of kidney problem, then it may be worth investigating. Now, taking medication is often part of our day and forgetting to do so can have consequences. So there's an app called MediSafe, uh, a medication reminder. That was the best app that we found across the uh, seniors networks. And not only does it help you keep track of your own medications, but you can also use this app to monitor other people's medications, could be useful. A good way to stay flexible is to do yoga, but if you can't or don't want to go to a class, you can try these apps. There's one called Daily Yoga, Pocket Yoga, and Yoga for Beginners. You don't need to worry about wearing your daggy clothes, even if there's a hole in your shorts. You just do the exercises in the comfort of your own home and track your own progress. Then I found a really fun one called You Are Your Own Gym. It's a good uh, self-explanatory name for a well-regarded workout app. You don't need any specialist equipment. It shows you how to use items around your home and the house itself to keep you in good physical condition. You can even take the app on holidays with you and do exercises in your hotel room. And yes, uh, this is an actual woman. Uh, there are lots of pictures of her on the internet. I just thought I'd bring her in for a bit of inspiration. Uh, she's got videos as well. She's in her 90s and she's passionate about keeping fit and amazingly flexible. She's pretty impressive, isn't she? <laughs> So that useful blue, and blue, white, and gold card in your wallet can get you lots of benefits and discounts and special services. And here are a few ways that I've found that you can wear yours out. In the notes pages, I've provided a link to the download the seniors directory. Uh, you can, it'll provide you with information about specials that businesses provide to seniors and of course in your area. So the categories include clothing and footwear, food and beverages, home appliances and white goods, and very importantly at this time, telecommunications. One of the biggest benefits of being a senior is that we get to use an Opal, senior's Opal card, which gives us huge discounts when we travel on public transport. But did you know that you can also get discounts on Keo Ride, the, the ride sharing service? Also, you can use your Opal card when you're traveling on public transport interstate. I don't know if you knew that, but I thought I'd just pop that in there. 
um, your seniors card can get you discounts on pretty diverse um, on a pretty diverse range of of um, of services and needs, including accounting and tax services, hearing aids, uh, optometrists, and even some vet clinics. So that's something useful to to know about. So if you sign up, you'll get lots of offers coming into your inbox from uh, the seniors card. You'll be offered discounts on wine and other alcohol, cheaper travel or entertainment tickets where we can get out and um, play, go to a play or concert again. That'll be good. Um, and a seniors card can also get you um, uh, discounts on your insurance for your home, your car, your contents, travel insurance, and even your pet. They really have worked very hard to get us those discounts, so why not use them? So I had to look up um, what this lady is, <laughs> is saying to us, <laughs> and, um, and here's what I read. It says, a hand gesture raising the pinky and index finger on one hand is the emoji with a variety of other meanings. It can refer to heavy metal, or the devil, or an encouragement to proceed with an activity. I'd say she's indicating the latter, wouldn't you? So, you could just listen to the radio on the, and, and the TV news like you always have, but what about all the other stuff that's going on in the world? Here are five alternative news and information services to keep you up to date in the way that you want. So, number one is Flipboard. Uh, you can select the types of stories you want and uh, it'll deliver regular updates straight to your device. For example, if you want news from the UK or if you're into the stock market or you like your sports right up to date, then Flipboard is going to give you the news you want when you want it. Uh, if you've been looking for a good overall view of what's going on in the world without getting into too much detail, then you can sign up for Google News Alerts. They'll send you a great overview of what's making news right now without having to wait for the traditional news broadcasts to come along. Now, of course, lots and lots of people have found a lot of value in subscribing to the Sydney Morning Herald. Think of it as the news you're used to without cutting down the trees. And for only $3.50 a week, you can catch up just like you always have. So say you're looking for authentic news from respected journalists. Well, as you know, many of them have lost their jobs from the old newspaper model. So where did they all go? Well, I'm reliably informed that some of them went to Inkle. Sure, you have to pay a subscription, but this news site provides world-class reporting and no adverts. Now, if you only want Australian news, then Australia News can be your new best friend. This app aggregates news from all the main newspapers around Australia and allows you to organize it by topic. Very useful. See, it's simple. It's just a matter of getting into it, researching it for yourself, and what better time than right now? So, do you like to whistle when you work? Well, here are another five ways to keep you occupied listening to interesting stuff on your smartphone or tablet while you do almost anything else you please. If you could, uh, well, so I wonder if I told you, you could listen to your favorite author's brand new novel, learn a language and find out about ancient civilizations absolutely free. All you need to do is belong to the library. And then you can download library books from a variety of apps such as Overdrive, BorrowBox and Libby. And then, so you just go to the Northern Beaches uh, Library website to find out. Now, for something even more amazing, you can actually use those same library apps to listen to your choice of offerings in your car using the Bluetooth feature. We've used them on many, many long trips. Then when you get home, you won't have to miss a word when you enhance the sound of your device by listening to your audio book on your Bluetooth speaker or your headphones. The same applies to the ABC Listen app, which you can use to send, to send you to sleep at night, as someone I live with does, <laughs> or hear your favorite programs at any time of day or night. If you miss one, don't worry. You can still listen to it on your device or your Bluetooth speaker. And now you can even listen to ABC radio on your TV. 
Next suggestion is to try out Spotify. You can hear any style of music and it's as much of it as you like. With the Spotify free plan, you can access all playlists, discover new music and share tunes with your friends. But the premium users also skip any track, listen offline, hear high quality music and use the Spotify app on your mobile device as a computer remote control. That I didn't know, I must admit. I learned that when I was researching. And if you like listening to more in-depth discussions, interesting topics, or just have a good laugh, then podcasts can add a dash of spice to your life. There are way too many to choose from, and their diversity and interest, areas of interest will just astound you. I suggest that you type in podcast into the search bar of the App Store or Play Store, and then explore which podcasts appeal to you. There are so many to choose from. I didn't pick any favorites for you because they have such varied contents. So you can be just like this grooving granny and really enjoy your new listening options. It's really worth uh, learning all about that. So this is the end of the slide presentation, slideshow presentation. So don't forget to go to the AFPALS website and to the student, uh, to that new section about uh, the online content that Paul created for us and download the information that I've just given you. If you have any questions, um, I'm going to stop sharing the screen now and then you can um, put your hand up once we've unmuted your microphone. So I'll just stop sharing now.